Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah the question was asked Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh beloved Ustad I hope you're in the best of health in Iman and I want to ask your advice on a situation that I'm currently in I am a 20 year old Bangladeshi brother who was born in the UK. I'm working full-time in aerospace engineering in an aerospace engineering firm and they are helping me to get my bachelor's degree part-time. I earn a decent amount for my age but I am classed as an apprentice and therefore my salary is limited for three more years. I live with my parents and therefore have been able to save a good amount of money so far due to the immense amount of fitting in the UK I want to get married as soon as possible. I have two problems, however. First of all, my parents are traditional and usually Bangladeshi men in the UK don't get married until near the age of 30. My parents are very against my desire to get married. Second of all, I live in a location that is relatively isolated from the well-established Muslim communities and therefore am finding it hard to find suitable sisters for marriage. Many of them have jumped on the feminist bandwagon, and I am therefore put off by them. I did try some matrimonial sites, but these are full of fitna, and I fear for my deen immensely when using these sites, so I have tried not to use them. How can I convince my parents who come from a different country and culture, and which means do you recommend for seeking, uh, which means do you recommend for seeking out a potential spouse? May Allah preserve you and allow you to continue your work. I mean, wa iyakum. And we ask Allah the Almighty to make all of our affairs easy and bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, and make the affairs of the Muslims everywhere uh, easy and provide for those who have limited provisions. And suffice those who have provisions and protect those who are being persecuted and bless those and preserve them, those people who are being uh, oppressed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remove their oppression and save them uh, from oppressive individuals I mean it'll be a lot of mean so first of all <clears throat> first and foremost regarding the uh, question that will Allah alhamd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has provided you with uh, ample means to provide for a spouse and to prepare for that journey uh, into the marital bond and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a beautiful righteous wife, I mean, who will be a comfort and a strength to you, I mean, and that you will be a comfort and strength to her, I mean, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And so that is a ni'mah min ni'amillah, first and foremost. Uh, and as far as your primary dilemma, which is two things. One thing it is that you are having difficulty because now your desires are raised and you feel the need to get married. The second dilemma is that your parents are stopping you and they come from a traditional background, which is very different from the background that you were raised in as you've been raised in the UK. And this is a common situation for many of our brothers and sisters whose families have migrated uh, and their families may come from perhaps a traditional Somali background, traditional uh, uh, Ethiopian background from the various tribes in Ethiopia, or whichever country coming from a traditional migrant family and then you being born uh, and dealing with the same things that those of us who are reverts uh, deal with and the same kind of fitna as other people who uh, are raised in these localities. So this is, uh, those are your two primary uh, issues there and may Allah make them easy for you and good. So as you've mentioned, you yourself have to do your best to convince your parents. And we know 
that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, Ya ma'ashir al-shabaab, min istata'a minkum al-zaw, min istata'a min istata'a minkum al-ba'a falyatazawaj. So the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said, O you youth, those from amongst you that are able to get married, then they should do so. And then the ulama, they mentioned that regarding al-ba'a, that al-ba'a al refers to, as some of the ulama mentioned, the financial means to get married. So being able to afford a wife, which ulilanham, do you have that criterion? <clears throat> You've met that criterion. The second issue that the, the scholars mentioned, or the second interpretation that the scholars mentioned regarding this term, al-ba'a, uh, in this context, is that it refers to the akramakum Allah, if you will, the sexual prowess, the ability to be able to give a, a, a woman her rights, physically. And, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, you have that ability as well as you're a young man. So, we know that if this has become a great fitna for you, then you do need to focus on getting married and completing that part of your religion and helping you in your journey as far as finishing your schools. So that means looking for a spouse, bi'idhnillah ta'ala, that's hopefully compatible with that. Either she is a studious person and going to help you along that journey, or she's at least a woman who's going to help you along that journey and not be someone who's going to distract you and say, no, I just want to spend your money. No, I want to do this. No, I want to do this. Let's travel. And they're not on the same page as you. So first and foremost is you need to look at the compatibility and the compatibility that you are looking for uh, on this life journey. Secondly, your big dilemma is your parents. So I would advise going back to them and even explaining the situation. Now, I know that this may be difficult for a lot of people in those households for their family to understand, uh, especially from a traditional background. They just cannot comprehend that. They see the world very different and from a very different traditional perspective <clears throat> and often a very conservative perspective that, no, no, you can wait. You can wait till you're 40 if you need to. So this is not real and this can be a very dangerous thing. And especially if this situation happens with girls as well, that they were uh, keep their girls in from and uh, keeping them back from getting married when they are ready to do so. That doesn't mean as soon as she's 15 or 14 and she mentions something that you should just marry her off. No, that's not what we're saying. But we're saying that there should be some moderation in that. And you'll have to determine that as an individual. But there should be a degree of maturity upon the woman or the man uh, in those situations uh, to take on that responsibility of being married. So my advice is that you need to, of course, mix with the Muslims. So there in your locality, I don't know, I've never been to the UK aside from Heathrow Airport, but I would say that you need to contact the nearest uh, Muslim community that's on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and it's a process of getting to know the brothers and them getting to know you in order to find hopefully uh, to get begin that process of a suitable spouse that's one aspect so that's one thing you should do the second thing if you feel but you've already mentioned that the websites are a fitna for you and you see a lot of danger in that then yes you should refrain from that <clears throat> the third thing is you're going to need to really push and try to convince your parents and say, look at the situation. This is a great danger for me. I'd rather protect my dean and not fall into zina and having a girlfriend and the other problems. Uh, I would rather be married and try your best to emphasize to your parents. And if you're able to do so, if you're able to be patient for at least another couple of years or another year, to be able to be in a better position to, to uh, convince your parents, then this is khair. But if not, then you should continue uh, looking uh, to find a suitable uh, sister. And you also mentioned that uh, a lot of the sisters around 
<laughs> in the UK or in your locality or what have you are very feminist and they're very, and I've heard this from other brothers from the UK, mentioning that unfortunately a lot of the sisters that also come from, uh, uh, probably from all backgrounds, but especially also from migrant backgrounds that their families that even then they're born in the UK, but they are very, very different than their parents as well. And they've been exposed to so much, their mindset, and, and I know enough people from the UK to know how uh, different some of the people think that even come from traditional families and traditional communities, but they are gone. We know a lot of the sisters, and I know people have apostated and left who are you know British Pakistani, and British this and British that, who've totally left Islam, just openly. So. This is a very uh, serious dilemma that we have in trying to find a suitable spouse as well. Uh, this is a great challenge and I hope that this can be of benefit to you and we ask Allah the Almighty to make your affairs easy and do not forget to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So making these efforts but continually in, uh, to make dua and increase your dua in every sujood ask for this righteous spouse that's going to be pleasing to you to help you uh, be stronger uh, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala kulli shayin qadir Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over all things omnipotent wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad